In this video, I'm going to be competing against the official Five Nights at Freddy's colouring book, which I bought recently for $15. The reason why I said I'll be competing against this colouring book is because I will not only be colouring these pages, I'll also be drawing Freddy Fazbear and his animatronic friends in my own horrific style on separate pieces of paper, so you can compare the art styles and see which you prefer. First off, I'll be colouring in the happy looking Freddy Fazbear. Why is he so happy? We'll never know. But you know what would make me happy? Subscribing to my YouTube channel. Set that up perfectly. It might not look it yet, things are nice and simple colouring in this page, but this video really spiralled out of control but you're gonna see shortly when it comes to the drawings in my style. I often get carried away and this video was no exception. I've been slowly driving myself insane drawing animatronics for the past few weeks. So I'm just really excited to finally share them with you and hopefully you enjoy them. Definitely let me know your favorite drawing in the comments down below. I'm curious which animatronic you think turned out the best. I'm actually really happy with how they all turned out, and I may in fact frame them one day and have them all next to each other on the wall. I think it'd be a really cool series. Creepy, but cool. And now that the first colouring page is just about complete, I think it's time to turn things up a notch and showcase what I can do when given a blank piece of paper, no restrictive guidelines from these colouring books, and lots and lots of time. No rushing these artworks to hit a weekly upload schedule on YouTube. Nah, I'll be taking my sweet time. After finishing the pencil sketch, I begin by filling in all the details with a Copic multiliner. Bit by bit, adding texture, decrepit grime, and lots of cross hatching and line work to add in all the nasty details. It was probably not necessary. But, like I said, I've got time. With the line work complete, I begin the colouring process, which unfortunately seems to cover a lot of that detail I just spent so long adding. Note to self, you don't need to do such detailed line work if you're going to cover it with Copic markers and Prismacolor pencils. Spoilers! I do the exact same thing for each of these drawings. So don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes and don't waste all your time like I do. On a positive note, I've got some awesome line work scans of these animatronics, which I'll be posting to my Patreon at a later date. So at least all that detailed line work won't go to waste. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this Freddy Fazbear turned out. I wanted to make it look decrepit and broken down and just have a creepy vibe to it. I couldn't resist by adding some blood and gore and of course, my signature white gel highlights to add that little bit extra texture, grime and detail. With the first round of coloring book vs artist complete, I think I'm gonna score myself one point. Yes, I might be a crooked judge but let me know otherwise in the comments down below if you want to be that annoying person saying the colouring book one turned out better. Of course you're welcome to have your own opinion. Just keep it to yourself. Next on the colouring chopping block is Chica. Let's eat. <laughs> I always like to say art is not about the art supplies. It's about how you use them. That being said, these colouring books have terrible quality paper and it definitely makes a noticeable difference with the levels of detail you can achieve and the ease of use. Plus, these colouring pages aren't really made for Copics and have the unfortunate tendency of sucking your Copics dry like a thirsty vampire. And if you thought petrol was expensive at the moment, try buying Copic refills. Please like and subscribe, it's the only way I can afford more refills. To get Chica's anatomy correct, I first begin by drawing an apple, and then refining the details. I tried my best to get the eyes even, nailed it. 
Now I'm going to spend the rest of my life adding these line work details. Oh, I can't wait till I get an AI clone that can just do all this drawing for me while I relax and play video games. Ah, oh, come on future, hurry up. Believe it or not, the lime work is finally done, so now I'm going to add some colour with my Copic markers. As I'm editing this footage, I do acknowledge this drawing is looking a bit sus right now. <laughs> Cheek is looking like a bit of a Belle Delphine animatronic right now. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, don't ask. I'm relating to this cupcake. <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? <laughs> That's enough joking around. It's time to get serious. I'm going to continue this drawing by adding a layer of Prismacolor pencils on top of the Copic marker. Just to further cover up any of that time and effort I put in on that line work. In case you could still see some of it showing through, we don't want that. We want to completely block that so you don't realise all the hours and hours I spent on that. That's what I call time well spent. It's what I do best here on the Jordan Persigardi Art Channel. Those with a keen eye may have picked up on my signature purple shading, which I add to all of these animatronics, which I think will tie them together nicely if I do decide to frame them and put them on my wall next to each other, but I think it will make them all look a bit more cohesive by the end. And just like that, with the final white highlights done, Melting Chica is complete. Now I'm moving on to this Bonnie colouring page. And for the childlike posters in the background, I used my Crayola Twistable Colour Pencils. I bought them as a joke years ago, but I've actually used them way more than I intended in these videos. Who said crayons are for kids? Look out, Copic. I've got some new favourite art supplies. Copic vs Crayola. I think I've just given myself an idea for an art supply battle video. Hmm, maybe one day. Speaking of different art supplies, I've also been using these Winsor & Newton Pro Marker brushes. More specifically, the grey tones just to add some shading on top of the Copics. I just bought them to try them out, and I wanted to use some cheaper markers for these colouring books so I don't waste my Copics, which are definitely more expensive. Now I'm going to go crazy with a black Prismacolor pencil to add detail and texture throughout the whole drawing to really finish things off. You didn't think I was going to forget the blood, did you? Bonnie has been shredding so hard on his electric guitar, his fingers are bleeding. And I can relate to that because that's pretty much me after finishing all the drawings in this damn video. Yeah, I'm still complaining about it. Alright, I'll shut up and keep drawing. I'm nearly done. With the blood and gore, and finally some white highlights added, this colouring page is complete. And now it's time to draw a Bonnie in my art style. And I've got some fun ideas. Some people might say that I drew the guitar with broken strings to avoid having to draw so many straight lines, and also the strings weren't lined up properly with the neck of the guitar. But let's just ignore that. That's wrong. Everything I do is always 100% intentional. And if you disagree, like I said before, you're welcome to have your own opinion. Just keep it to yourself still. <laughs> I'm just joking around. I make a lot of mistakes in my artworks, and I generally notice them in the editing stage. At the end of the day, I could spend more time on the sketching phase and make sure the anatomy is all correct and everything lines up properly. But it just comes down to time. I already spend a long time on these, and for me, I don't want to get too bogged down by chasing perfection. I know I'm going to improve over the years as I keep drawing, and I'll keep working on my anatomy. I approach art like a marathon, not a sprint. I don't expect my current drawings to be my final form. I'm going to improve over the years, so if I'm enjoying the process and having fun with these drawings, that's all that matters. Also, I still think this drawing turned out pretty sick. I decided to have the guitar bursting out of Bonnie's stomach, as if he was impaled on it, yet still shredding the non-existent strings till death. 
I also added neon pink goo to mix it up from the usual blood red gore for a futuristic retro vibe. Wait, what? Don't think about that contradiction too hard. We've got to move on. For the last colouring page, I couldn't forget about the fan favourite, Foxy. He's on the run, so I better get this done. People often ask me, Jordan, oh wise one, please bestow your knowledge on how you draw blood so masterfully. You know, along those lines, anyway. Well, there's no secret to it. I use a red Copic marker, maybe light mahogany, also cherry white for blending, and then I'll go back in later with a red Prismacolor pencil to add some gooey details. Then I add some highlights with a white gel pen. Pretty simple. Speaking of simple, now I'm gonna do something the opposite of that. You might be 11 minutes into this video, but for me, I've been drawing for more than 40 hours. So I'm gonna power on and get this line work done. I've got to get busy and add lots of line work detail, which I'll be covering up later. Nice. I liked how the neon pink goo turned out in the last Bonnie drawing, so I wanted to do something similar for this foxy one. I decided to go with a toxic looking acid green to really contrast with the oranges and reds of foxy. You'll notice again, I'm adding more purple shading. Like with the other animatronics, it's just gonna tie together nicely. I went very heavy with white highlights for all of these animatronics. I just loved the texture it gave, and I thought it fit nicely. This was a fun series of drawings to make, and I think they're gonna look awesome, framed, and in a row on the wall. But let me know what you think. If you like how the drawings turned out, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting the channel and enabling me to make crazy videos like this. I appreciate you all.